Here are the top five stories you need to know about. We learned early this morning within the last hour that the park fire grew by 3,000 acres overnight to a total of 389,000 acres. We check in with reporter Lauren Cooper. She's at the Silver Dollar Fairgrounds where the morning Cal Fire briefing is about to get underway. Lauren, what can we expect? Yeah, Kelly, that briefing is about to start any minute, any minute now. You can see just behind me how many people have actually come out here. We're going to be live streaming the full version on Facebook, the Action News Now app, and our website as well. And there are just a lot of people out here to learn how fire crews plan to attack the park fire, which has reached 3, 386,000 acres and destroyed just under 200 homes in Butte and Tehama counties. We know it's also made its way up to being the fifth largest fire in California history and the largest fire of this year. But those numbers could change uh, in the next few days. We're all here to learn what the next steps are for fire crews here. Now, I'm going to get back in that minute. It, again, is about to start any second now, and I'm going to keep you updated as soon as I learn more. I'm Lauren Cooper reporting live in Chico with Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. The park fire did start one week ago today. It broke out last Wednesday at 2.52 p.m. And right now, the updated acreage, it grew by 3,000 acres overnight. So updated from the numbers that Lauren just cited, it's now at 389,000 acres and the containment remains at 18%. Now, the first day it burned 6,500 acres. Then the next day on day two on Thursday, it grew to 125,000 acres. That was when it was 3% contained. By Friday, it had nearly doubled in size, ending with 240,000 acres. On Saturday, 353,000 acres. And by Sunday, it burned more than 360,000 acres. On Monday, it reached 373,000 acres. And by Tuesday, it ended the day with 386,000 acres. This this morning we learned it added another 3,000 acres now at 389,000 acres and we know that there have been 274 structures and overall destroyed that includes 116 homes. Here are the areas under evacuation orders in the red in Butte County areas like Cohasset and Butte Meadows in Tehama County the Highway 36 corridor and in Shasta County evacuation orders along Highway 44. Parts of Plumas County are under evacuation warnings, and tonight there's a public meeting in Chester to share information about the park fire, hosted by staff from Lassen National Forest and Cal Fire. It's at the Chester Fire Department on Chester Airport Road tonight at 6 p.m. And breaking overnight, Justin Moss is a felon that Reading Police say they arrested for entering an evacuation zone during the park fire. Officers made that arrest last night around 10:15. They say Moss violated his probation along with entering the emergency closure area without permission. Patrol officers in Shingletown said they saw Moss looking through the window of a closed business. When they searched him, they say they found a bear mace in his vehicle and drug paraphernalia, which he's also charged for. He was booked into Shasta County Jail.